UAE-based AstraTech buys GCC voice calling app Bodum, and TSMC's Q4 net profit hits a record $9.7 billion. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Farah. UAE-based tech firm AstraTech has bought the GCC voice calling app Botum as part of a move to create a platform that offers everything from instant messaging to digital payments. AstraTech didn't reveal the value of the deal, which it bought from a group of UAE investors. Botum has 90 million registered and 25 million monthly active users. Following the acquisition, AstraTech will allow users to pay bills and access government services through the app, as well as order food and groceries. The UAE has named Sultan al Jabr, the head of ADNOC, as president of the COP28 climate conference. Jabr is also the UAE's Minister of Industry and Technology and its climate envoy. He will help develop the COP28 agenda and play a central role in intergovernmental negotiations to build consensus. Pakistani Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif will seek a fresh economic package for his country from the UAE during his two-day visit. That's according to Pakistani media, who say Sharif will also seek to defer a $2 billion loan repayment to the UAE, which is due in the weeks ahead. Sharif is also expected to finalize a $2 billion investment in Pakistan during his visit. TSMC saw its Q4 net profit hit a record $9.7 billion compared to $4.2 billion for the same period a year earlier. But it also predicts slowing sales for the start of 2023 as a potential recession dampens global demand. TSMC operates the world's largest silicon wafer factories and produces some of the most advanced microchips used in everything from smartphones and cars to missiles. Volkswagen Group saw a 7% drop in deliveries to 8.3 million vehicles in 2022, but maintained its position as Europe's top battery EV maker, with all-electric sales up 26%. Full-year output figures were dragged down by an output drop of over a fifth in the first half as the war in Ukraine upended supply chains and COVID shuttered plants in China. Officials say they're confident about 2023, despite a weakening macroeconomic environment and on going supply chain shortages. Eurozone consumer expectations for inflation finally declined in November, ending the prolonged rise of soaring food and energy prices as inflation has now appeared to peak. Median inflation expectations over the next 12 months dropped to 5% in November from 5.4% a month earlier. The ECB's focus is slowly shifting from stopping its rise to just how quickly it can get it back down to its 2% target. ECB projections see price growth falling back to 3.6% in Q4 this year. Morgan Stanley expects the oil market to tighten during the third and fourth quarters of this year, supported by a recovery in demand from China. Although Morgan Stanley predicted Brent prices in Q1 to be around $80 to $85 per barrel, it forecast prices reaching $110 a barrel by the end of the year. Brent crude was trading around $83 a barrel this afternoon, gaining 3% over the previous session. The world is at the dawn of a new industrial age of clean energy technology manufacturing that will triple in value by 2030 and create millions of jobs. That's according to the IEA, which says the global market for key mass manufactured technologies will be worth around $650 billion a year by 2030. These include solar panels, wind turbines, EV batteries, heat pumps and electrolyzers for hydrogen. It says related jobs will more than double to nearly 14 million by 2030. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is the Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.